Hey guys, welcome back to this new video. In this case, I will be helping you and teaching you how to configure the emulator for this new game that is, I can say, is revolutionary since everyone is playing. So, and this game will be the Water Model game or Swake game, that is much known. So, in this case, I will be helping you to configure the emulator and be able to help. Um, sorry, to play the game on English with some tricks that we'll be doing on this tutorial. So, the first step will be as always we do download the emulator. In this case, we only have to go to Jusu, type Jusu on Google, and then just press download. And over here, we only have to download for Windows. And I will be saving this one on my desktop. And I have the installer of Jusu over here. So in this case, we only have to double tap and open the emulator. So it will be take a few seconds while the emulator is opening. And over here, we only have to press install. And then the emulator will be set to set with without any issues. So the next step will be open the emulator. And we have here the emulator open and the first step will be install the product keys that we only have to go back where we download the files. Keep in mind that these two files will be on the commentary section to be able to download this link without any issues. So keep in mind that these uh, are necessary to be able to play the game without any issues. So the first file that we have to download will be the additional files. We only have to extract the files here and we have these two folders. We have the keys and the firmware. The first one, we only have to open the keys folder and copy all the files that we have here. Sorry, copy the files. And then go to Jusu and the file type, open the Jusu folder. And over here, we only have to open the key folder and paste the keys that we already copy. And then back to our files, open the firmware folder, select all, and copy also the files. And back to Yuzu, file, and open Yuzu folder. And here we already go to the NAN folder, system, <coughs> content register and over here we have to paste all the files if they ask you to replace we continue to replace all the files and that will be all that we have our finger and keys successfully installed so the next step will be <coughs> download the english patch that will be also giving you on the commentary section we only, only have to extract the file here and we get this folder like this in this case we only have to copy the folder and then we only have to go to add new game directory and search the folder we only have our Suica game in this case I have my game on the directory the switch we only have to go to the game and just press right click and open mode data location and we only have here we have to paste the folder after that, we only have to go to properties and make sure that the English patch is turned on. After that, we ha only have to configure the emulator. For the reason, we have to go to emulation, configure, and in this case, I will be doing the most important part for the emulation to be able to launch and open the switch again. You will be just going to file, to system, and make sure that the multi-core CPU emulation is turned on. The CPU is on accuracy and auto. The graphics, in this case, it know we might like to choose Vulkan or OpenGL, but as I always say, if you have an old graphics card, you have to choose OpenGL. If you have a higher graphics card like an NVIDIA or AMD, we have to choose Vulkan. In this case, I have an NVIDIA graphics card, I will be using Vulkan. And then we make sure to leave the configuration as I will have. Just make sure that the resolution is on 1x and that will be all. On advance, if you turn off Vulkan, make sure 
that all the settings are like this the accuracy level on high, the interest filtering on automatic or default, and recompression method less on uncompressed. And make sure if you choose OpenGL, leave your settings like this. Sometimes I use in Vulkan, I put the settings in this case like this. And the next one will be on audio. I prefer to set everything on automatic. And then in controls, make sure that this one is turned on. And on the input device, will be the device that will be using to play the games. In this case, I will be using a one, an Xbox One controller that is working perfectly without any issues. And after that, we only have to open our game. In this case, we will be launching the Switch game. It will take a few seconds while the game is running up on the emulator. And as you can see, I will be just to know the sound that is so high. We have our emulator open. This is the original game, as you can see. It's the same game. As you can see, that the game is running perfectly without any issues and flawless. So, in this case, if you have any questions, any doubts, you can leave on the commentary section and I will be more than happy to help you to resolve all these questions that you can have of this game and emulation But if Also, if you have any issues with the performance, you can try to let me know and I will be hoping to reach you and help to resolve the performance issue that you may have with this emulator. So in this case, um, that will be all. Thank you so much for watching the video. And if you like the video, just make sure to leave a like or subscribe our to my channel to be more than updated to any changes that I can do or any video that I can upload. So thank you for watching. Bye bye. Take care.